Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 30. And we will do this for subtraction questions. Now firstly, let's have a look at the questions we're going to be working through. The first one we have 24 minus something equals 6. So 24 minus something equals 6. And the second example we have is 20... Oops, I've got that the wrong way around. It's going to be something minus 9 equals 18. So those are our two examples with the missing numbers in different positions. Now we have used the number line previously, we're going to use a slightly different method this time round. Now the first step is to have a look at the question 24 minus something equals 6 and we're going to change the order of the questions. So in the first one we're going to move the box and swap it around with the 6. We're going to change it. So therefore the question will read 24 minus, and now we're swapping this box with the 6. Okay, so we've just changed the position of the missing number and 6. Now 24 minus 6 is a lot easier to work out. Now how are we going to do this? We are going to use the vertical format. Okay, not head and fingers, not the dot method, and not the number line. You can use any of those. This is a new method which we are introducing. And we've covered this in addition and subtraction. So we have 24 minus 6. And as we've said before, the key thing here is to make sure you write it in nice, neat columns. And we can label the columns. We've got units and tens. Now let's work through this. Starting on the right-hand side, as always, 4 minus 6. Now we cannot do 4 minus 6 because 4 is smaller than 6. Therefore, we're going to take 1 from the tens over here. So let's cross out the 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move to the units column. The units column now reads 14 minus 6. 14 minus 6. And 14 minus 6, from your mental arithmetic, you know that that equals 8. 14 minus 6 is 8. On to the tens, we've got 1, but we've got 0 here, so 1 minus 0 is 1. The answer is 18. 24 minus 6 is 18. Go back to the original question. We've got 24 minus 18 equals 6. So the missing number is 18. Okay, that was nice and simple. Now, the reason why we're using the vertical format here even though the numbers are small, is that you will be asked to find the missing number for numbers which are quite large. And then the vertical format, the one over here in pink, is going to become very useful. Okay, on to the second example. We have the missing number minus 9 equals 18. Now, as we've done before, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 9 and move it across to the right hand side. Therefore the missing number is on one side of the equals and the numbers are on the other side. Here we have the missing number equals 18 and we've taken the 9 across. And don't forget if we take it across it goes from minus to plus. Okay, On this side it will be plus. If it's minus on one side it's plus on the other side. So we can now do this. We've got 18 plus 9. Again, we're going to use the vertical format. 18 plus 9. Okay, nice, neat columns. We've got units and tens. We are now ready to go ahead and do the addition. Okay, always check the sign. It's addition. Starting on the right-hand side, we've got units. We've got 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9 is... You should know this from your mental arithmetic. 8 plus 9 is 17. So let's write this down. We put 1 here. We're carrying over 1, and we've got 7 here. 17. On to the 10s, we've got 1 plus 
0, the answer is 1. 1 plus the 1 we're carrying over is 2. So the answer is 27. Let's write this down. We've got 27. So 27 equals 18 plus 9. Write this in the original question. We've got 27 minus 9 equals 18. So we have found the missing number. It is 27. So that is another method of how to find the missing number for numbers up to 30 for subtraction questions.